welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and I am Pores by Papa. Um, this is my first video, so if I'm extremely awkward, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, so, today we are going to be doing a 12 by 24 canvas. Um, my technique is called the Sheely Art Style Technique. I will have a link in the description where you can take the course that I took back in March. And I have been practicing ever since then. It is by no means an easy technique. I mean, I, it's trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. And I just put time and effort and money into it and it's so worth it. It's so worth it in the end. I absolutely love painting. Um, little fact about me, I am almost two years sober and I use painting as a way to kind of de-stress and just kind of chill out. Okay, so my canvas here today, um, let's just go over the colors, okay. So, um, for my pillow paint, I'm going to be using Sherwin-William color to go. Um, I love getting these mini samples from Sherwin-Williams. They are just the perfect amount of paint. I don't like to get like a full gallon because some, I'm just like experimenting with colors, you know, I don't want to get a full gallon if I don't really like the, um, color that I'm using. So this color is number 9162 and it's called African Gray. So I don't know if you can see on here, but it is a very light and subtle gray. And so that's going to go on my pillow. The colors I'm going to be putting in, I have my black here, there's still some bubbles in it, just a black which I used. Mont Mart, um, what color is this? Lamp Black. And then I also put in, because I wanted some shimmer inside of it, I actually found this um, iridescent medium at Michael's. And it is just, um, here I can show it to you. Like a makeup swatch. I don't know if you can tell, but it just, you can add it to like your paint or anything and it just makes your paint a little bit more shimmery. How exciting. I love shimmer, so anything shiny, I'm all for. Okay, my second color is kind of a mixture of two pigments. Mm. The first one is Antique Silver and this is a Pearl X pigment. And I actually added in another pigment to it and it's called Noir and it's an Arteza pigment. And so I kind of put it in about half and half cause I didn't want it completely black and I wanted it to be like a darker gray. So I, I kind of mix pigments sometimes and try and get like a cool color. So that's what I did there. Okay. Um, my third color today will be a pretty pretty gold one of my favorite golds this is um, deco art extreme sheen and this is 24 karat gold it is so extremely shiny um, I found this on Amazon um, I'm pretty sure you can get it at Michaels but everybody loves this gold so sometimes it's you gotta dig around to see where you can find it. Okay. Oh, and then for my cell activator, I made up a TLP cell activator. And what is TLP? Okay, TLP is this little piggy. It is Sheely's line of pigments. And I almost all the time use TLP. Today, I'm just not using TLP. Um, well, I am in the cell activator. Um, this is Lisa Marvin's recipe for the cell activator. I am actually using 
a TLP ball gown for my cell activator. So this is an interference gold. It kind of looks, ooh, it kind of looks like a pearly gold. So I am excited to use that. Okay. So I have only done two bigger pieces so far. And I went to Home Depot and I was like, I want a swipe tool. I want it to be really big. So I, I bought these two. Um, this is like seven inches and I don't know how big this one is. But I found that they're almost too large and clunky for me. Um, and so I ended up on my 12 by 36 canvas, I ended up just using this tiny one. I don't know where this is from, but it's in size number two. I don't know if that helps anybody, but I did like that I was able to control the cell activator with a smaller um, swipey tool. So I decided to look on Amazon and try and find kind of like a happy medium, not really tiny and not huge. These are called trowels from Home Depot, by the way. Um, I went on Amazon and I found that they had a five pack of medium, style, medium sized painting knives. And so I got really excited and I bought them. I think they're about $25 on Amazon and they come in all these cool little sizes and shapes and I'm really excited to try one today. I'm almost wondering if I want to either use this one, this one, or this one. When I did my 12 by 36 painting, I used the square one and I know Lisa Marvin uses this square one too. Hey Lisa Marvin. <laughs> um, but I just don't know which one I want to use. This one I feel like might be cool. I always try and practice too my swipes before I do anything because I don't know. I just, I always practice and then when I go in, it's not anything what I prepared for. So I don't know why I even practice. Um, you know, Sorry guys, my thumb is bleeding for some reason and I have no idea why. All right, sip a Red Bull. No, I'm not sponsored by Red Bull. I just love Red Bull. <laughs> All right, give this a good little shake. All right, I sometimes strain my pillow paints because sometimes I find that there's some chunks in them. Um, I find these nets actually, well, I find these nets at Home Depot, they're just like mesh. And what I would do is put this over like a plastic cup and just have it um, strain away. And I haven't had too many issues with Sherwin-Williams, but I have had ch chunky pillow paints in the past, so that's why I, I'm just super cautious about it. But I don't think we'll need it today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start pouring this pillow. Okay, ready? Okie dokie. Speaking of chunks, there's right one right in front of my face. Look at that, right when I'm talking about it. That would be a chunk. That's why I strain my paints. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Already 
you see a chunk in here. Look at this, no good. Okay, let's move this around. Should have strained my paints, but I decided to do things too quickly, huh? It is about, I think it's like five degrees here in Colorado today. It is really dry out there. I don't know about any of you guys, but at least here in the Colorado harsh weather, I have been needing to bring in all of my paintings once I'm done with them because I've just been finding that if I don't, I get cracking in them. My pillow paint dries way too fast and I just go in my little studio here. It's not really a studio, it's just a loft. but. I go in there the next day and I'm just like, what the heck? My cell activator is like completely sunken. It's just not a good time. Um, so when I did my 12 by 36 canvas, I actually, when I dried it, okay, um, the paint where it wasn't too thick kind of dried it so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour extra pill on there it's gonna come off anyways once I spin this but we don't want any fine lines in our finished product do we because I don't like that even though resin might kind of help you out a little bit there, you never know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet all of my sides. I find it good to wet your sides because it just helps the paint kind of flow off when spinning. If something is too dry, I'll find that the paint doesn't wanna run off on the side like it should. So we're gonna just do that. Okay, let me get some paper towel and then we'll be starting. All right, I think I have decided to go with this one. We're gonna go with that one. And if we don't like it, we can switch. All right, so. Let's give our paints a little stir, stir, stir. I do let my paints sit for 24 hours. I was finding that if I didn't leave it sitting for 24 hours, that I would just end up with so many bubbles in the final product, like bubbles that weren't even there when they were wet, and then it would just dry. Oh, and then I tap them down to get the air bubbles out. <laughs> That's what I'm doing here. Um, so let me mix all these up. To be honest, recently I haven't been using two paints. I don't know why. I just love the way that pigments, my paint turns out with pigments. I mean, I just feel like that's still too goopy for some reason, but we're going to use it. So that's that. We'll see what it does. Okie dokie. Um, my 24 karat gold, this gold man, oh, I love it. But Sheely's um, TLP Harvest Gold is another one of my favorites. And then this is TLP Ball Gown, like we said, the cell activator. Okay, let's get this on. I'm gonna go, come on. I'm gonna go ahead and do 
black first. Not too much shimmer in there, but that's what I wanted. Okay, one down. Let's do half a gold. I just, I'm so OCD about the bubbles. I do not like bubbles. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, we're gonna do bubbles. I really like this gray. It's like a really neutral gray. It's a little darker than I expected it to be, but it's okay. We're going for it. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna do one more. do gray first and then gold on top. Mm, no, we won't. We're going to do... If you're wondering if I'm layering them in a certain way, I don't particularly layer my paints in a certain way. I just think what I... I just layer them the way that I think is going to look good. I mean, I don't do like pigment, paint pigment. I don't do any of that. I just say... Ooh, I think this is gonna look really cool. And that's what I do. Okay, there's so many bubbles. What do I wanna pop them with? I don't like the bubbles. I'm like that guy from Finding Nemo's that doesn't like the bubbles. That's exactly who I am. Okay. A little bit more gray. Mm. Nah. Mm. Might as well just put all of this on there though. Right. Come on. Gold never hurt nobody. Okay. Now, do we have a little bit more black? We need one stripe of black in there because our cell activator is white. So I want this stuff to pop. Cool. Now, okay, the tricky part, oh gosh, mm. I'm going with the smaller one. I like having control, but I'm going to pop these bubbles real quick, pop, 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 pop. They really don't even show at the finished product, but I just like correcting everything as possible. Okay, cool. Now, I got my little swipey tool. Oh my gosh, this is the most exciting part. Well, actually, I don't know. It's hard. Okay, so when I am covering my tool here, I do, oh, I am doing a very, very thin layer. So I know those cells pop through 
my pillow page. Okay, we're just gonna do, see, look at that, cells are already popping up on my metal. <laughs> okay, like that, cool? All right, here we go. We're gonna do swoosh. There's one. Oh my gosh. So exciting. Do you see that? Oh, you probably don't. But it's so pretty. Ooh, interference gold just mm, so pretty. Okay, now I'm actually gonna take, where's my little, my little swoosh tooth. Look it. Oh. Little swoosh tool, fill little swoosh tool up. And we're gonna go plow. Cool. I always like to take my time, do it right the first time. It's not like rushing this is gonna hurt you, you know? A little design in there, do your thing. Hopefully some cells pop up in there. Okay, let's go to the next. Doing the same thing. I think you can see me, yeah. Just little by little, very thin layer, moving it all around. Look at that, the cells are popping up on the metal. That's when you know your cell activator is good. I test it to, wait, one sec. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, we're just gonna go. part right here has like no cells coming up in it or anything so that's what I'm gonna use my little swoosh tool and I'm just gonna put some cell activator right over there just to give it more cells because we love the cells cells get bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm excited for this. This is looking really good so far. Cool. Let's keep going. do the same thing go with my little I kind of like to like s sit back and watch to see what like the cells are doing because like literally by the second things change on here with the cells opening up and stuff like that so I'm just blowing right now on the part where I see that there's a lot of cell activator I'm just trying to open up those cells of course I just dropped something in my painting hi yeah yay okay I got Cell activator away. Okay. Ah. 
like that. I like to have paper towel on the side here to clean off my tool. I better go faster. I didn't realize I'm already 25 minutes in. Holy cannoli. Do I just talk too much or do I just take my time? Probably both. Okay, here we go. Another big one. You do use quite a bit of cell activator with big ones, I find. I don't I don't like swiping in more than like just once either. I like little swipe cell activator. Little swipe cell activator. G G G so cool. Keep expanding. I am s I still cannot get the blow down for the life of me. I just get way too lightheaded and I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. I still can't get down so when you can't get something down, what do you do? You perfect what you can do. And what I can do, I can swipe. So I've just kind of given up on the blow, to be honest. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost done. Fill up my tool. Okay. Here we go. Swoosh, 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 swoosh. We're going to do that one again. Take my little, do this part again. I don't like the way that swoosh turned out. glad I redid this part. It's okay to redo things. As long as you have your pouring medium on top of it, I mean, it just didn't have any cell activator at all. It was kind of just like I over swooshed it, not enough cell activator, so I just went right over it. The pouring medium was still there. It was just like um, kind of mixed, so you know, this is probably going to come off anyways when I spin it, but you never know. Okay, let me close these up and we're going to I get these little containers actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know where they're located in your Dollar Tree store, but they are in like the um, utensils section where all the kitchen tools are. 
Okay, let me move all of this. And we're gonna go to town. This is like my favorite part. Even though it's like really pretty right now, I'm gonna still go ahead and spin it. We don't want that in there. Okay. Okay. Move out of the way. Paint's gonna come splattering. Okay. Sides one more time. It is so dry in Colorado. I swear that my pillow paint already starts drying. Whoa. Okay, we're we good. I think we're good. Ready, go. What am I liking? Do we continue to spin or what? Hmm. I'm gonna go a little bit more. and I'm just seeing this corner of pillow you can just see like all of my finger marks on them I'm really liking this though so I'm gonna go ahead and stop spinning it I think that is a done deal I'm liking it for Gucci okay Good lord. I swear it's already drying. That's how dry it is out in Colorado. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna put paint in here. I'm gonna put some here. Even of course, I dip my finger in it. Okay. I'm digging it. one more time and we are done I will post a close-up of it later but let me know if you have any questions or anything down in the comments below and like and subscribe and welcome to pores by Popo thanks everyone